Hi again, everyone. Welcome back to Worksheets with Answers. Uh, don't forget me if you have to leave soon, Michael. Okay, so here we go. This is number one. Number one. It says, my name is Greg. Alrighty, don't forget to trace inside the lines. Very important. I'm going to move a little bit quickly here, okay? Uh, Elmi, don't forget to go with me, okay? Uh, this is number two. Number two says, I am 10 years old. You can write your own age, of course. Okay. Moving on to number three. Number three. Oh, my legs fell asleep. I'm sitting like this here. Uh, number three, it says, I am happy. I am happy. Don't forget to color your monkey cage. It's a lateral cuboid. And you can color your zoo as well. Really neat zoo picture, right? Okay, that's number three. Moving on to number four. Number four, right? This is your zoo ticket. It's what gets you into the zoo. So it says, my name is Greg. I am 10 years old and I am happy. I know this is not me, but you can still color color. Right? Always fun to color. I know you love it. Number five, the zookeeper says, how are you feeling? What's a snake over there? Look at that. And you say, I am happy. I am happy. Okay? All right, you guys. And number six. Number six says, I did it. I can go in the zoo. And then I can walk, I can walk, I can walk, I can walk. Right? It's like a snake. It's like a snake over there. Neat, right? Okay, and here we are, number seven. This is number seven, moving right along. Alone is okay, but together is better. Oh, I forgot to draw my face, but draw your face, happy face, and eyes, nose. And then, and then here we go, together in the zoo, together. It's a nice one, right? And here we are with number eight. Number eight says together, right? Together, very important. Together, we can see the monkeys. And which one is the monkeys? It's this one over here. That's right, M for monkeys. M, and also the vertical cuboid, helps you to understand this is the monkey cage. This is the monkey cage, you guys. Just making sure we're looking good over here. Yes, we are. I'm going to flip those back over. And now we're moving on to number nine, everyone. My leg fell asleep again. Oh, no. I've been sitting like this too long here. Uh, number nine is your reference page, too. Don't forget, you have to come back to this worksheet so that you can, you can find these answers here. The elephant answer, the monkey answer, the tiger answer. And I decided just to write my letters T... M and E inside and circle it as well. You can just email from HKI, Michael. Yeah. Okay, you guys, you got that? Number nine. Okay, moving on to number 10. Oh no, my other leg's falling asleep. No. The number 10 here. This is a vertical cuboid. It is great for the monkeys because, remember, use page number nine. Page number nine, right? They need many trees to climb. And then in here, in here you can draw your, in here you can draw your trees, draw your trees inside. Um, Rico, do you, want, do you want to come in front of the school first and then Elma can go from there? All right. Um, okay, this is number 11. Number 11 says, this is also a cuboid. This one is lateral. Lateral means it's flat. It is great for the tigers because then on the back, they need a lot of space to, to walk. They need a lot of space to walk. Okay, everyone, looking good. I changed up number 12. So this is number 12. It's the, this is number 12 and this is number 13. Okay, you would have seen it from the worksheets anyway, but this is 12. The elephant does not need a cuboid cage. The elephant needs a big cube cage because 
They need a lot of space. Can you see that? They need a lot of space. It's good, you guys. Good. And moving on, last page, number 13. Uh, what three things do we need to say and read to enter the zoo? Reading it backwards here. And then, right, we need to say and read our name, comma, age, and how we feel. There you go. You can take a look at that and make sure you got it. All right? Okay, you better get ready to go, Elma. And here is the next one here. It's a lateral cuboid for your, for your lateral cuboid. There it is. Don't forget, first you draw the rectangle and then you draw your lines. I know my finger is a little bit dirty because we have the, the four trees outside. I washed very well. I don't know why. Boy, that dirt under the nails. Very hard to get. And then here we are. Next one. What uh, what animal needs a lateral cuboid cage and why? The tiger needs a lateral cuboid cage because they need a lot of space to walk. Happy face. Okay, and that is your, right? That was your worksheets with answers on Monday, May 25th. So I'll see you soon, everybody, okay? Hope you enjoy today's work. Hope you're doing them and enjoying today's worksheets. Every day takes about an hour and a half to build the worksheets, if you can believe it. Sometimes two hours every day. So I really hope that you're enjoying them. We're really giving a lot of thought to the flow of the worksheets and making sure that you can make progress. Okay, so that when you come back, you're ready to go. Okay, so I'll see you later, everyone. Bye, everybody, and take care. See you soon. Miss you. Bye.